what I'm saying is, is that that's fine. From Jesus is fine. It's from no Jesus to Muhammad, and that's giving you a 600-year period where now, from the first century all up until Muhammad, you don't even have to use scripture. You can mm -hmm. use outside historians, church fathers, and etc. to try to to try to validate Muhammad. So I'm I asking, mean, what 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 chain do I you mean, have? Um, do you think you have one? There's 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 a gospel of Barnabas, which you Christian thinks is a forgery, <laughs> but you know, you always <laughs> say that's a forgery. Yeah. So you said, um, so you guys like to ask about the chain of narration, right? Okay, and you guys use the chain of narration to tell us how we don't have a solid connection to what once was, right? So we're saying, you know, uh, these are the previous scriptures. These are written by Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. This is the Torah and et cetera, correct? But then you say, okay, who's who? What's the chain? What's the connection? How do you know that this person did that, right? And that is used to invalidate what we have scripture-wise. So, I'm going to flip that question and I'm going to ask you that. What is your chain of narration that dates back to before Muhammad? Before Muhammad, because remember, he is a, a, in connection with the previous scriptures. He's supposed to be the seal of the prophets and et cetera, right? So if, if, if that is supposed to be his line, well, then we are supposed to see a chain in connection, chain of narration that dates before Muhammad up until Muhammad, which would also lead after Islam so we can see a full chain of connection. So what is your chain mm. for Islam? And this isn't me saying I agree that we don't have a solid chain, mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is, is that do you even have one at all? I mean, <clears throat> okay. Bismillah rahman rahim So um, we Muslims believe that you know, um, Allah sends messengers and prophets mm. throughout different generations. Right, right. From the time of Adam, Noah, Abraham, uh, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, yeah? Mm. So we believe that those people that God sent the message to, like mm. the people of Adam, right. the people of Noah, yeah. their message was meant to be for them and their laws. Okay. Even though the belief system is the same, like believing one God, uh, believe in the angels, believe in heaven and hell, mm -hmm. what kind of stuff, yeah? But they have their own laws. So there's times where they will be given to follow that until somebody else come, okay? okay. Right, so right. we believe that a lot of these messages have been lost completely. Mm -hmm. And um, how do we know? Because uh, we can use the example of Christians mm -hmm. and the Jews, yeah. even though they have many similarities, right. but there are some still things that are not in line. As you yourself know, the Bible stories and the Quran stories supposed to be the same are different. Yeah, right. So, so I can also give an example like the people of Noah. Yeah. You know, Moses came after Noah. Right. So I want to flick back the thing mm. to you and say to you, the chain of narration, if it is like the way to um, bring it to us, where is the cha chain of narration f from Noah to Moses? Did the mm. Jews got that before? Mm. No. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, well, I would say, okay, so I would say, <laughs> I would say for that, right? Yeah. That would be, a, it, it would really be a question for a question. Yeah. So, my question was, is there a chain of connection or chain of narration dating back before Muhammad mm -hmm. that leads up to Muhammad, which... And, and, and just to graze over your question just a little bit, yeah. you're asking for a chain of connection between Abraham. No, for between, let's say, uh, let's say between Abraham mm -hmm. and Noah. And Noah. Or Abraham and Moses. Yes. There was no. Well, we do, well, we do, you know. we do have that. We do have a chain and that's within our scriptures. That's within the Torah, that's within the Dead Sea Scrolls and etc. That's how we derive our chain and then we go outside and then we use our historical figures that can give us uh, uh, historical information about that specific time period based on the scriptures they read because we all know that time period was insanely a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So it'll be tough to get a full chain and i'm not saying full as a, as if in it's bro if it's broken but it will be tough to get 
hey, we have the writings of this person from thousands of years ago and the writings of this person from thousands of years ago. And the, But when we come over to the first century and go all the way up into the sixth, it's a little bit easier than trying to go get a chain of narration from somebody who lived during the time of Abraham and Noah. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that took place in that time, plus the flood. Hmm. I mean, they were like things were destroyed. So we can't really ask for a chain of narration in the way that we're asking for a chain of narration for Muhammad. Okay. Because in Muhammad's time during the sixth century, it should be well developed and easier to find a chain dating back to the first century, which we have for our religion. We have that for Christianity. But what I'm saying is, is that if these prophets are, because notice what I'm asking. I'm not asking to give me a chain of narration from Moses all the way no what let me let me clarify i'm literally just asking give me a chain of narration that leads to muhammad mm -hmm. from jesus's time okay because it would be it would be it would be wrong of me to try to ask for a specific chain of narration okay. without having you go to the scriptures yeah for uh moses abraham and noah we got to go to the scriptures for that. Yeah. That's our chain, the, the Torah. Yeah. But when during Jesus's time, we have outside sources and things like that now because we have writings that survived. So Okay. Yeah. So um, basically what you're saying, chain of narration has to come from our own scriptures or even any scripture. Any. Well, because I want to I want to clarify. It can't come from your scriptures because your scriptures derive from the sixth century. OK, so those, and, and that would have to be after Muhammad. Okay. So your own scriptures can't be used as a chain of narration, specifically not being hypocritical, saying, oh, you just said you're going to use your scriptures for your chain of narration. No, no, that's I, not. I just wanted to clarify which one you talk, you talk yeah, about outside the Quran. I'm talking about outside Islam. of the Quran. OK, that 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 I'm not looking for a chain of narration for for Islam more say I'm looking for a chain of narration for the leading up to Muhammad. OK. Okay. Which, which, like, let's say, which can't be the Quran. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because that's when he came. Yes, I see what you mean. Okay. So um, I'm going to go by the basic stuff we use, mm -hmm. which is in the Quran, in Surah. Keep talking. Just, I just, yeah, no one's yeah. here, so I got to check. Okay, yeah. Which is um, in the Quran, in Surah, I think it's Surah 7, 157. Okay. Where okay. it says the Prophet Sallallahu is mentioned in Torah and in Jail. Right, right. So. We believe this Torah and Injil to be the original Torah and Injil, okay. which is given to Moses and Jesus. Right. However, right. we Muslims believe that the New Testament you have is the account. It's like the Hadith type of you guys. Mm. We believe that. Mm. So we believe the sayings of Jesus, that many of them are actually in fact true in the Bible. Okay. So we can actually use that statement, for mm. instance, where Jesus said that somebody will come after him. Okay. Mm. So that it's something that indicates to me mm -hmm. someone will come after Jesus. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, the Quran says that Jesus spoke about Prophet Muhammad. You mm -hmm. yourself know it in Surah 61, where it says, mm -hmm. a prophet to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad. Yeah, Ahmed yeah. and then yeah, 7, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, like I mentioned before with Noah, it's all like, obviously you don't have any of the chain of narration from Noah to Abraham, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So, fine. That's okay because that's a long distance. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Thousands yeah. of years. Yeah, according but, according to according to our knowledge. Let's just say that. <laughs> so it won't just be like I'm confirming. But yeah, yeah no. But I just want to I, I agree. I haven't seen any outside yeah. chain of narration from the time of Noah and the yeah. time of Abraham from some person with their writings and historical. I haven't seen that, which is the scriptures themselves. Yeah. So no, yeah, I, 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 I can agree yeah. at the moment, okay. yeah. But I mean, if we did, that would be actually absolutely insane. But yeah, yeah. This, is, this is why I went there to show you, mm -hmm. like messages can be lost. Mm. God's message can be lost. Well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, but it, okay, but it's so, so in, in that example, yeah. in that example, going to, Abraham and Noah's time, which was, which was really, a really, really, really long time ago. We can't come. We 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 know messages can get lost, but the reason why I gave in to that point is because we know that if we go that far back, the the chances of having survived texts and survived statements from from historical writers or or anyone who can kind of develop a 
establishment for a chain of Noah in which I don't even think that that's something that they even cared about back then or even thought about doing back then. They were just operating and living under the guidelines of God. Mm. You know, I don't think anyone was worried about writing a chain of narration and, and verifying Noah and etc. in that way. Yeah, but they have it orally. Exactly. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think that mm. the writings of these people and historians and etc. right, was that prevalent back then. So it, what I'm what I'm saying is, is even if that was the case back then, mm -hmm. it would be almost borderline a miracle for some of those writings to even survive to this day to where we can say, hey, look, we can point to this person who wrote this about Abraham and Noah, and that's their chain. But here's the thing. The chain of narration is supposed to be validating what it is that you're saying, what it is that you're talking about, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Muhammad says that he is validating the previous scriptures. That's right. He's saying his previous scriptures are validating him. Right? Right. So are you saying that the chain of narration is now lost? Because if you're saying the message is lost, the previous message that he's saying verified him and spoke about him is lost, well then that ultimately that would mean that your chain of narration is broke. Now, I wouldn't agree that our mm -hmm. chain of narration is lost because we have our scriptures. The only reason why I'm saying that, okay, it wouldn't be fair to have the conversation with you and say, hey, we're gonna use my scriptures and that's it, is because you're a Muslim, right? So I have to use or, or talk to you in a way where you can understand how the things that we use are what we use, but I can't force them on you. So now that's why I'm asking you, mm -hmm. we don't have to use the scriptures. We don't have to use it. If, if you don't think that that's a valid form of, uh, if you don't think that that's a valid form of chain of narration for us, dating back all the way from Moses, uh, Abraham and Noah, which I think very, very well is, then that's fine. But if you're saying you don't have one, even, even from the time of Jesus to Muhammad, well, then now your chain is now broken and mm -hmm. it's it's unverifiable. And ultimately what you guys tell us is it's, it's, it's not reliable because you don't have a solid chain. Okay, so um, I just want to let you know, like the t the, from the time of Abraham to mm. Noah, mm. no one actually knows how long it is. It could be thousands of years. Do you yeah, agree? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. The, nowhere Bible doesn't say that, Quran doesn't say that. However, the time from uh, Abraham to Moses, we know that the Israelites were in captive for 400 years. The Bible says that, right? Mm -hmm. So if they were there for 400 years, and then the time Jacob came, we know Jacob is- But the, where was the time of, what, what, what year was the time of Moses? BC what? About 3,300 BC, yeah. No, sorry, sorry, about 2,000 BC. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. j just, you know, what we're saying is thousands of years ago. Yeah. So what, would we be even be looking for that would survive from that point to derive a chain and then who would be who would we be putting the chain of narration in connection to with uh, from moses it would be to abraham and then from abraham to adam mm -hmm. but here's the thing if we go from uh if we go adam abraham moses noah etc right if we go, if we if, if 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 we try to put these put all four of these people together, right, and say let's go try to find a chain of narration for them, that is so that's inconsistent to what we're trying to do with Muhammad because we so, know yeah. that we're dealing with people three thousand something plus years ago. We're okay, dealing with, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, okay. To clar just to just to clarify, mm -hmm. when you say chain of narration, do you mean the prophet, his description, or the message? Well, for example, chain of narration, meaning when you guys use chain of narration, mm -hmm. right? You guys try to validate who's saying what and who's putting, oh, okay, yeah. you see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so if you don't know or have that chain yourself, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. validating that person yeah, in yeah. his statements, yeah. well then how can you validate Muhammad when it fails on your end because you have no chain of narration dating before Muhammad, but he's claiming that these scriptures were before him and they confirm him. You see what I'm saying? So, but to be fair, yeah. I've, I've never made a claim about this. Maybe some Muslims did. Like what? Like the Christian chain of narration. I've never objected to it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, I'm not. I, so, so, the, so the Christians, we don't 
hone in on chain of narration yeah. like you guys do. We don't we don't we don't we don't do that. But what I'm saying is is that this these are questions that yeah. you have asked. For example, when we bring up the gospels, who wrote this, who wrote that? And when we tell you, okay, who's he? Then when we tell you who's he, okay, who validated him? Then when we tell you who validated him, then it's more questions. So you guys are looking to develop a solid chain in order to validate the scriptures in which ultimately some people never do even yeah. when we get them those answers. To be fair, I never actually speak to Christians about that. You know what I mean? Mm. However, we can well, you do, you do, you claim. Have I, have I said you, that about the chain of narration before Christians? And not, it's, so it's not, I don't think I have, you it's know. It's not necessarily <laughs> using the word, but you have, you, you have invalidated who wrote who, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. No, I've never, I don't think I've done it. So before. you believe Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John no, no, wrote no. the Gospels? The thing is with me, yeah. Mm. Can you remember any time where we spoke about this? Yes. Chain of, no, not me, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, not, no, not, not, not <laughs> this, not this conversation in the way that I'm posing it. Yeah. The way that I'm posing it is I'm posing it in a different light. Absolutely. But the Muslims, I, I've seen Muslims make that claim, you know? But, but, but not here's me. the thing, here's yeah. the thing. Do you believe uh, uh, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John wrote their Gospels? I believe the Bible says that, so they wrote it. However, I believe the New Testament you have mm. is not reliable. Uh, because like Mark, oh, so are you claiming Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John isn't reliable? Yes. Okay, why? Because, first of all, there's a lot of contradictions there, and they themselves, they disagree with each other on different accounts about the life of Jesus. Mm. So that looks like me and you live, we're speaking right now. Mm -hmm. We had a debate in London, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have four people. Mm -hmm. 200 years later, writing a story, mm. a, a famous debate between me and you. Mm. One, one says London, one says New York, one says mm -hmm. um, Newcastle. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? So that one... I mean, that's a know. little bit of a conflation from, <laughs> from what the Gospels are actually saying, though. It doesn't, it's, not that, it, it, it's not that different. And then also, too, even with the difference of details given, yeah. we get the full complex story. That's what, we, that's what we always say. But regardless of whether we had the conversation about chain of narration or not, let's actually, let's, let's have it. Let's have it because I think this is a solid point because mm. here's the thing. If there is no solid connection that can be made between Muhammad and the previous scriptures, mm -hmm. I think screaming, well, it's been lost. It's not a good argument. It's a bad argument. But no, I think we can still use some Bible verses which indicate it's talking about Prophet Muhammad, like prophecies. On the basis you of know? what? Why do you think you can still use Bible verses? Let me. Because we Muslims believe, even though the Bible, uh, Torah, Injil mm -hmm. are lost. We believe that the information that they have, which is in the New Testament, Old Testament, is still a lot of truth in it. Okay? So we believe that. But then that leads you into a point of you <laughs> already know and validating what is true and what is not. It becomes a muddied well that you guys are just swimming in. No, but it's up to me to prove that, isn't it's it? I, no, I've, I've made a claim. I've okay. made a claim. Okay. okay. So yeah. you have to allow me to. Yeah. Yeah. Prove let's it. see. Let's see. <laughs> let's see what you can prove. Uh, what? Okay. Go ahead. If, uh, tell me how do you validate what it is that you're now picking and pulling out of the Bible? Because essentially that's what you're doing. And, and you know when you guys say that that's what it is, but sometimes you guys don't want to agree that that's what you're doing. But you're you're, you're picking and pulling because you just said there's some truth and there's some not. So what what is what is that? What is that? Like um. <clears throat> Well, normally, you have these things like. Mm -hmm. um, Let, let's go uh, to scripture. Just yeah, give us a scripture. What that's true. For instance, um, what do you call it? I forgot. The I forgot the story now. Uh, the story of Joseph. Okay. Have we spoken about it before? Yeah. We, we had a dream. I believe. Uh, I believe we. we I think I we have. I think, I think we I have believe, spoken yeah, about it, spoke but not about much that. because there was a lot yeah. of. People in I think the group I, chat. Yeah, I think I heard you. So up. I didn't really have a lot of, because like I struggled with group chat, and mm. I mean, because yeah. I, I think speaking too much is quite interrupting. It's rude, so mm. I just laid back sometimes. No, okay. So yeah. the story of Joseph, if you want, I can pull it out, mm. or you don't mind. Do you want me to speak it, sure. or pull it out? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah. So and, uh, yeah, go ahead. And, so so what's the what's the what's the point though? Why you're looking it up? No, no. no I, I'm asking you. Are you alright for me to pull it out or not? Or just speak no. Like you that. can pull it out. No, but it's I'm okay. saying. I speak what, about what it, it then. Oh yeah, yeah. The while, dream. While, while you're waiting, so there's no dead air. I was gonna say, yeah, just keep talking about yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Why yeah. you pull it up? Yeah. Um, so it's about the dream of Joseph, about having 
dreaming 11 stars, the sun and the moon, mm -hmm. bowing down to him. Mm -hmm. In the Quran, it says prostrate to him, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then Joseph was so eager, he told his brothers about it. And his brothers told him, mm -hmm. do you mean to reign over us, like to rule over us? Mm -hmm. Okay? And then he went over and told his dad the same dream. Mm -hmm. And his dad told him, will I, your mother mm -hmm. and your um, brothers come down Mm -hmm. and bow down to you, mm -hmm. you know? So I, re I remember you bringing this up. And before we do that, I want to say this. When you, mm -hmm. when I want to say this, when you just said that you're going to validate the scriptures, what you're trying to do right now is invalidate. I asked you for the ones that were true. Let's go with the ones that were true. Because we've had this conversation before. Let's talk about the ones that you validate that are true. Oh, and okay. How do you okay. do that? Okay. Yeah. In the Bible, you yeah, mean? Yeah, well, so we've already, went, we've In already the Bible. went back and forth about that one. Yeah. Which ones are true to you? Like, for instance, the one that agrees with the Quran. Right. Because you said there's some truth and then there's some yeah, falsehood yeah. in it. Like, for instance, I, Moses. I asked you about the truth. Yeah, yeah okay. Not, yeah, sorry. Not stories yeah, are yeah. incorrect. Or, okay. You know, yeah. that, no, I, I didn't, get, I didn't yeah. get it. Okay. No, no, now you're good. You're good. So, okay. For instance, in the Quran, it says Moses spoke to God. And before. He went to Egypt, God told him to take his shoes off at a, at a holy place. The same in, in the Quran, mm. these kind of things. So this is why I said, if he agrees with the Quran, mm -hmm. there's a lot of things in the Quran that agrees with the Bible. Mm -hmm. I can't bring all of them out because it's going to be too much. But I'm just giving an example. Mm -hmm. Always says Jesus was born of a Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Jesus um, is the Messiah, this kind of things. Mm -hmm. So I can you're validate. That that's, and you're saying that that's true on the basis of the Quran saying? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, but the, but I have to back myself up okay. by making that. Mm -hmm. This is why it's important for me to go to the the ones that disagrees with the, with the Quran stories, Bible stories, are supposed to be the same, they disagree. Mm -hmm. It's always good for me to go there and demonstrate it to you mm -hmm. why the Quran is right, the Bible is wrong. You know, because yeah. if I go to the, the one that agrees, mm -hmm. I won't have much to say because we agree. Yeah. You know what I mean, well, <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily say that because I would say that if you because the reason why I want you to talk about the ones that agree is because when you pull a passage and you say, look, see, look, this agrees with this. But then you ignore the rest of the passage. That was where it becomes a problem, because now you've put yourself in a place of now okay i'm gonna pick and choose what i want in here that 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 validates my religion and whatever seems right to me and so it becomes a problem in trying to have a full conversation when we can't stay in that same passage because okay if you bring up something in uh uh, uh it whatever genesis exodus or whatever right and you say hey look look this kind of matches up with the quran i like this i like the the, the rules that were being set here uh, and then when we go into the Quran, we can see these are the same rules that are implemented. Boom. So that's true. But then when we read the rest of the passage, then we see, oh, wait a minute. There's actually some things that are going wrong here. There's actually some differences. You guys just say, well, those are those are the corrupted part. But you just throw that out there and then without no validation. So you 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 validated a point. And here's a, here's an example that I gave somebody earlier. Right. Now, when, say I had a piece of paper, okay? Piece of paper here, mm -hmm. piece of paper here, okay? This is the original piece of paper on my left hand. I write, God is three, okay? 100 years later, this paper has been copied over and over and over and over and over again. Now, it says, God is one. Which one is the corrupted one? Say we dug up this one mm -hmm. and found God is three, mm -hmm. and then we found one that said God is one. Which one is the corrupted one? I will say um, um, the one that comes first is more likely to be the right one. Okay. But but no, wait, 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 and you read, and it says, this is from God. You believe it's from God. And then you read, these both, these ones are still here. Mm. This one is the original. This one is the copy that's been changed and altered. But your holy book says God is one. Now you come back to those same two pages. Which one is the corrupted one? The left one or the right one? 
left um the right one still yeah. right yeah the one that says god is one is still the corrupted and altered yeah. one right yeah great so that's what i'm saying so just because you read in a book and that book confirmed what you're reading on a piece of paper mm -hmm. doesn't mean that now all of a sudden you found out how the scriptures are corrupted because it that that's not a, a a way good way of validating actually it's a terrible way of validating whether something has been altered or changed or not you no. literally just went into the book and said i like what i'm reading no so. no no like the thing is this is why i said to you i wasn't finished mm. because with me when i say something mm -hmm. i have to back it up right you know i can't just make a claim like that right. okay i agree with you the first book that comes mm -hmm. that one was more likely to be correct yeah. than the one that come later right however right if the one that comes later mm -hmm. yeah makes more sense mm -hmm. and um the, the story matches for instance for instance the it agrees with the prophecies and that the other one doesn't mm -hmm. this is how you come to know the previous one has been changed and corrupted you know what I'm saying? So I don't right. always, I don't, I don't only go around not, and say, not this is different, you, you, this is different. To, <laughs> but you'd have to confirm that the, the, you have to confirm that the later book actually does do what it says that it does. You can't say, oh, this book comes to confirm this. So that's how we know, because then you're still presupposing that your book is the, is, is that book. It is not. You have to you have to prove that the confirmation is actually there. See what happens is is you guys say, well, this book confirms the previous scriptures, right? It's a confirmation of the, of, of the previous scriptures. Yeah. But then when you, you you see it doesn't do that, and but then you say, okay, well, there's some of it that does confirm it, which is not true. That's not just the Quran confirming. It's, a, it's I wouldn't even say that it's the Quran confirming the previous scriptures at all. I would say it's the Quran adding things that were in the previous scriptures and that's it it's not confirming anything it's just another person writing a book adding something into the book that's it that's all i would say that, that that's doing you know i mean like for instance if you look at it um is the camera seeing me yeah yeah so um does it cover the whole area yeah you're good we're good yeah. why not okay yeah. so yeah for instance like this is what I said to you, like, mm. how do I know the Bible has been changed? It's looking at the Bible within itself, okay? That the stories and the things they do, mm. they don't match and agree with each other. Yeah. Like, I could give an example where Jesus in the Bible, I believe the Bible states Jesus, um, the Bible prophesies Jesus will not be crucified. And many Christians actually agree with that, um, that, um, what, what do you call it? Point. No, no, no. Or the chapter. chapter. That chapter okay. is in Psalms, yeah? Okay. However, they say, no, this is um, just talking about him being saved, uh, for instance, from the devil, mm -hmm. with that kind of stuff. But they do agree that's a prophecy about him. But I believe I can go and demonstrate to that, that prophecy confirms mm -hmm. that Jesus wasn't crucified. So if I can demonstrate that, yeah and bring the Quran, which says Jesus was only uh, saved, he wasn't crucified, yeah? Mm -hmm. And bring it, that actually, it makes more sense. Do you know well, what I'm saying? Well, okay, well, we can, <laughs> we, can, we, we can get into that. But first, let me, let's concede the first point. Do you agree that you don't have a solid connection outside of the Quran to confirm Muhammad's chain within the previous scriptures, his chain to the previous scriptures, because I've asked for a connection between the previous scriptures, the previous prophets, mm -hmm. up until Muhammad. Now, granted, we did, I did give you, just give me from Jesus. I'd say, just give me from Jesus. I mean, we can go up into King David. I mean, in, I that, did, in, that, yeah. era, there were, in that era, there were writings and yeah, things like yeah. that. You know, I those, did, those, yeah. those things were, uh, those those those, those type of things in that era was 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 prevalent. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I, I can even go all the way up to King David if I want to be fair. But what I'm saying is is that that's fine. From Jesus is fine. It's from not a Jesus to Muhammad, and that's giving you a 600 year period where now from the first century all up until Muhammad, you don't even have to use scripture. 
you can mm-hmm. use outside historians, church fathers, and etc., to try to to try to validate Muhammad. So I'm I asking, mean, what 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 chain do I you mean, have? Um, do you think you have one? There's 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 a gospel of Barnabas, which you Christian thinks is a forgery, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> you always say that's a forgery from Muslims. All right, take that. Right, I don't even use that. <laughs>